If you guys listen closely, or not so closely, you can hear Luna slurping away. By the way, we're gonna see the back of Taylor's head this whole video. She doesn't want her face to be in this, so um, what's cool. up? I mean, I don't really want my face to be in the podcast. That's the point of the podcast. No, right? I no, it's because I didn't get ready today, and I need to take a shower. I took a shower once. Anyway, what is going on, guys? Today we're back, and today I hope you guys are all having a great day. I'm going to be filming a little bit of the behind the scenes of a podcast because, well, we haven't filmed any of them with a camera. But this is the setting. Hey, hey, hey! This is the mood. This is the setting. This is the vibe. So we just take these headphones on, we start yapping, mom usually has some questions. She's kind of the host of the whole thing, but I wanted to give you guys a preview. So if you guys like it, you can go watch it or listen to it. It's available on the Anchor app, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, basically anywhere you can find a podcast. It's called Mom, I Want to Be a YouTuber. And if you just so happen to use the Anchor app, you guys can leave us voice messages and then we can like play them on the thing and they, they might be featured. So without <laughs> any further ado, let's get into the podcast, shall we? Okay, this is what we're gonna sound like, by the way. It's not what we just sounded like. This is the podcast feels, dog. Yeah. Okay, so this little part of the podcast that's gonna be on YouTube is gonna be, I feel like, a, like a little different. I feel like this part should be why the podcast versus YouTube. Like, why mm -hmm. are we doing this, and how will it differ, and how has it been differing from YouTube? Mm -hmm. well, just briefly. You could tell how different it is <laughs> if you listen to it. All right, she wants to go back outside. Give me a second. The, 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 the Dow goes. Okay, so podcast versus YouTube. Mm -hmm. One thing, I was watching a podcast on um, Jordan Peterson. When it, this is one of the philosophers that Tanner's been doing, uh, yeah. listening to a lot. And he talked about the difference between being on a podcast versus being on a TV show and having a six to 10 minute segment. And the biggest thing was in that six to 10 minutes, if you try to portray whatever to anybody in an audience and you just have that short limited amount of time, you end up becoming an animated version of yourself and try to just put your best self forward and you lose the analytical talk and the analysis behind what you wanna say. Which is kind of what we're doing right now is we film a little portion of this because right. I'm like, do I have my arm right here? Should I have to put it down? I know, and I'm already, I'm already self-conscious because I set the pin down. Am I, am I talking too much with my hand? <laughs> and I'm not really thinking yeah. about But that's podcast. literally how I've trained myself. Yeah. <laughs> so. so yeah. let's cut the clip. <laughs> <laughs> just end the video there. <laughs> we might ruin this podcast episode just for this little snippet. I'll, I'll film a little bit longer. We won't film the whole thing. Yeah, once we get into the big discussion topic, then I, that's where we'll cut it off. I don't even know what today's topic is. No. I know. Do you remember the hanging question I left last time? Oh, no, we, I just I remember do. arguing about Wizards Wait, of Waverly Wait, wasn't it Place. something about LGBTQ? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tristan's gay. I hate them all. <laughs> 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 no. Yeah. We'll get into that in a minute. But so what I wanted to talk about in this little snip was the fact that I completely agree with Jordan Peterson on that. I, I agree with him on a lot of things, but it's so true because in today's, in this, you know, TV society, everybody's gotten used to seeing the best version of whatever. And YouTube is definitely guilty of that. And mm -hmm. that's why I love this podcast so much because I feel like Tanner's fans know a version of all of us. And while it's not like, you know, not us, it's not all of us mm -hmm. and then here we get to actually just be ourselves and and we're way more in depth than we have a that's why the podcast platform is becoming so popular yeah. is because it's so unfiltered and and easy to learn from yeah so tristan taylor do you guys even listen to any podcasts have you even tried yet no um i used to listen to shane dawson's podcast a little bit back when it was on but other than that oh and uh, i've listened to H three H three is a little bit, but other than that, not really. Yeah, basically just H threes, and that does that count as a podcast? I don't know because I watch <laughs> it on YouTube. It's and basically video. like him reacting to drama, like basically. It's like news. a live version of Good Killer word. Team Star. Yeah. So I, I think that as the whole podcast thing gets bigger and bigger, then then hopefully it'll be an alternate form of learning for this generation my main Anyways. goal is to blow up yeah. and act like i don't know nobody <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> mango <laughs> I have no idea what that's uh, about no you don't you don't watch pewdiepie no no that's a vine well he brings in all the good memes and that was one of them bitch lasagna <laughs> i watched that the other day i, did watch I was that one. dying 20 yeah. million Bit. views oh yeah. wow yeah Oh. So, ooh, when is that other channel going to pass him? Or will they? Never. 
<laughs> Say that again without me moaning. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be in the video, but... Um, I said, when is the other channel going to pass him, or are they? OT series? Yeah. I haven't checked. I'm pretty sure they're actually about to, if they haven't already. Uh-uh. Um, he hit 69 million Did subscribers he? first. Yeah. He finally hit 69? Yeah, he hit him before. Yeah. Dude. I mean, they don't actually count as a channel. Okay, but, okay so Yeah, this... I feel like it's not fair, and they're definitely Well, bots. it's not. They have auto sub on for their whole yeah. country yeah if exactly. anything that's yeah. sad that they only have that many subscribers right <laughs> that's like one of the biggest countries in the world like well over a billion people yeah so Ugh. so the minute they turn on youtube PewDie- they're automatically subscribed to that yeah it's like their channel wow okay pewdiepie has 69 million that's my boy something thousand and they have 68 million six hundred something <laughs> thousand. Uh, so they're still behind Buckers. I wish he would prevail, but I, I, I don't know how it's possible. Because, like, the hype right now of, you know, tell your friend and subscribe to PewDiePie. It's working for now, but it's just, it's going to slowly go down, which sucks so bad. Because I remember when he passed Smosh in 2013, and I was sitting there watching as they were, like, battling it out right past 10 mil. And I was like, no, no, I love Smosh. I hate PewDiePie. What is he doing? <laughs> and then I started watching PewDiePie after they made a video together saying, congrats on number one, Felix. And that was true entertainment. See, that's that. It's really weird how the way you guys have described YouTube back then, because mm-hmm. I didn't know it back then. I didn't pay any attention to it or whatever. And now, I mean, it's nothing short of like it's. I almost Trash. see it as like yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like a a really really bad playground that you know, and everybody. I mean, I don't know. I guess this whole podcast is about being straightforward. But like, let me tell you, I get on to watch it, and then I question. Why am I on here? Yeah, I, I've gotten to where I just watch like the philosophy stuff that you send me yep. and that kind of stuff. That and but, PewDiePie if I'm in a goofy mood. Yeah. If I'm up for that. I watch funny videos like um, Six Figures I Was Only Four interrupting random songs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Other> <laughs> stuff like that. But there was a period of time last year where it was like all of that YouTube drama. And, and even now it's like, okay, Shane did the, the whole big thing on Jake Paul, which was really interesting and gave Mm -hmm. it some really good insight as to him and who he is. And I completely, you know, understand where he's coming from now. But then, you know, the whole Keemstar thing, which he made a comment on Shane's video, kind of dissing the whole, what are they doing? You know, what are they teaching these kids? And I'm just sitting there like, dude, you're the one that was hyping it up with all your drama alert and going (laughs) back and forth and just, well, really Keemstar is very respectable. I I mean, I'm kidding. No, he's not (laughs) as as a business person, you know, because he has turned it into a business. He's just like every YouTuber. The thing with Keemstar is it seems like he will have an opinion, like on Jake Paul or somebody and be like, Oh, these kids are ridiculous. Like, Oh my gosh. I'm like, you're literally like the one antagonizing it. Like, exactly. But it's like it's like this. It's like you get pissed at a kid for painting a wall, like or like drawing on a wall or something. But you're the one who hands them the marker and says, "Here's your fucking wall to mark on, bitch." But then get pissed when they do it. I'm like, I like to think of Keemstar as like one of those people on Musically that's like a full grown adult but dresses up as a kid because <laughs> he does that, but just in a different way. Well, it's just like you know the whole time all that that drama was going on with Jake Paul and Logan and the clout gang and all of that. Keemstar was very adamantly against the, you know, the whole Jake Paul side of the fence. Yeah. Now after Shane's documentary, now all of a sudden he's, you know, he was showing Erica Costell's new video and it's like, I, I dig it. I like it. And I'm like, <laughs> Oh well, of course gosh. you do. I'm and then, sure. And then I, as a grown adult, I'm like, why in the hell did I click on this thing? Like, I have something better to do with my day. It's oh all just God. such a joke. Our dogs are mental. But now I see YouTube as, you know, the things that you were doing back then were just outlandish and fun and a kid just being kind of crazy and whatever. But like I said in the previous, previous episode, I, I put a boundary on it. But then it's like, it, there, there's just nothing quantify or nothing like solid on there nothing meaningful and in so lacking yeah in that little version of youtube not that youtube in general doesn't have something to offer like the jordan peterson stuff no a lot of the stuff can be helpful educational good for people that are growing up people that are grown up but a lot of it's just trash in the nicest way yeah to put it and on that note here wait what i want to say is okay in the last episode we left off with the question of um what do you, how do you guys feel about the LGBTQ community? And that's going to be mostly our topic tonight. So if you want to see how this continues, then tune in for the rest of the podcast. But yeah, so I oh. guess this counts as an upload, right? Because yeah. I missed Friday. This is Monday. 
and I'm going to New Orleans. I don't know if I'll film. I'm going to visit Dom, but either way, I'm derping. Thanks for watching. Good night.